stop, 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 stop! Taxi! Hey guys, it's Paul with Taxi Cab Chronicles. I'm so excited today. Uh, I, I got myself a new camera, and I thank God for it because the camera I've been using is just an old cell phone, and it has something technical stuff here. It's called variable frame rate versus constant frame rate, and so variable frame rate is what a lot of cell phones record in, and what it is is that you don't have a constant you know 30 frames per second or 29 frames per second or whatever it's it you know it might start out at 29 frames per second then it'll go down to 26 and it'll go up to 30 and most programs are okay with that but I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit the videos and it doesn't really read it and so the lips don't sync up and so I have to go through a third party um, program called handbrake to to uh, to convert it from variable to constant which doesn't work so well sometimes adds a lot of time to the process and just don't like it and so pretty cool that I got this camera I'm excited about it we're gonna see if it works pretty well today and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about about vehicles today we, we had a problem over the weekend which was kind of sad it caused my kids to not be able to um, go to a birthday party we were down in Moore going to Walmart and a couple other places running some errands um, and all of a sudden my the car started leaking antifreeze badly so I got out I checked it out and and I found that it was leaking uh, pretty badly from a little plastic piece it seems like it should be a manufactured defect in fact I see a lot of 08 to 2010 Dodge Grand Caravans with this problem and when you search for it on YouTube it's it connects the heater hose to basically the thermostat which kind of goes to the the uh, radiator so this little plastic piece it's molded together in the seam after a while uh, it gets weak and it leaks and and when it leaks it spews because it's under a lot of pressure and so uh, you know in order to replace that it was going to be hundred and ten dollars so I looked on YouTube and I found a really cool uh, video of this guy who went to Lowe's and found a little brass T connector and fixed it so we fixed it that way I'll be talking about that a little bit later I'm going to be doing a um, a uh, oil change later so I might as well bring you along with me for that but for now I am about to go on a run and this person's waiting on me so I'm going to stop talking to you so the last time I did an oil change I didn't empty this and so we're going to take it today to get it to empty it everybody wants to be tall but nobody wants to hit their head on garage doors alright Girl, you're um, doing it there? Yeah, we'll just stick it right there. The rug so that nothing, you know, it doesn't spill out, ruin the carpet in any way. Now we'll take it to, to uh, AutoZone or Advanced real quick. Get in. Get in, Ninja Willow. My camera girl. You're gonna protect us. So you're my bodyguard today, huh? Mm -hmm. That's good. I need a bodyguard. I'm always a bodyguard. Yep. Now that I have a ninja suit. That's awesome.
out to go in, go home, put the car up on ramps, change clothes so I don't get these dirty, and do an oil change. You're gonna help me right. That's a yes. So we're gonna set up now. Got a little rug there and oil pan, and now I'm gonna get these ramps out, Willow. You wanna you wanna pull these ramps out for me, Willow? I'll get one, you get the other. Sounds like a plan. I mean, let me help you out. I'll tell you what, once you get one end, I'll get the other end. Are you ready? Alright. Oh, good job. Alright. So all right, let go. Now go call your mother. Tell her I need her help. Now I'll have Stacy drive up. Please, thank you. Stop, 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 stop! No, that's good. Wait, a little further. A little further. Stop. Hold on. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, Willow, you have a job. I need you to go find a piece of wood over there, a small piece of wood, for to block up the back tires. And so, the problem I had the other day, you see, this is where you have the hose. You have the hose coming here from the radiator. It goes over here to the thermostat, which, you know, the thermostat opens when it's hot and it allows the water to, to flow through the engine. It's very important. And then on the other side, you have what was a little Y piece. Um, right here. Yes, that's perfect. Go put it. Go put it behind the back tire. Which one? This one or that one? Does not matter. All right. So you have a little Y piece right here. It's not Y anymore, but it came out. It was Y, and it goes to these two hoses right here. Kind of hard to see, but those two hoses go to the heater. And this little Y piece is, was molded plastic, and it sprung a leak where the mold joined together, and just sprayed water everywhere. And so I, the 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 cost was about $110 to get the part. If they had the part, they don't have the part. So I would have had to order it. Um, no junkyard had my model van. And so I went on YouTube and I found a video that showed me how to do this. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. Kind of hard to see, but that is just basically a brass T connection that I uh, used. I put a new hose right there where the Y was connected to the brass T connected the other two pieces to the brass tee and that should last me forever. I don't think that will ever break, so we'll see. But I'm pretty sure it won't ever break up. Huh? Been checking the water re you know, frequently just to make sure that the levels are good and we're not losing any water. Um, so, so the problem was fixed. What do you think, Will? The problem was fixed? That's pretty awesome, huh? Now let's go get changed and we'll get started. And so right here, would be a really awesome video of Willow and I underneath the car changing the oil. I had everything. I had us unscrewing the oil um, pan bolt and draining the oil out, which was really nasty, and and you know changing the filter and putting it back in, and, and the whole nine yards. It was such a, it was an awesome, awesome moment because it was also homeschool moment. You know, Willow was homeschooled, but all of the footage was corrupted all of it none of it worked but as sad as i am about that i'm not going to cry it's going to be okay i've got i have more i have more footage so keep watching all right need your help all right so i, I need you yes you are yes you are come here come on we all get dirty i'm not going to be able to wash my all right. hands i need you to stand up stand up huh? Take this and throw it away. <laughs> it's heavy. Right there. All right, get on. Now, this right here is the oil filter. I mean, not the oil filter, the oil cap. We take that off. And you know what else we need? What? We need a funnel. Funnel? Let's go find a funnel. Yay. All right, got ourselves a funnel, and now we get the oil. Yes, and oil. We only need, by specifications, about four quarts of oil. So, two hands, pour just a little bit. Whoa, whoa. I will help you. Oh, oh, not too much now. That's good. Good job, Willow. 
Mm. All right, that's all right. And so we're only, we're gonna pour like, you know, maybe half, about two and a half quarts or so, and then we'll check the, uh, check the dip stick, dipstick and see how much oil's in there. And so it's very important, Willow, it's very important that we don't put too much oil in there and that we absolutely make sure we have enough. If there's not enough oil in there, you could hurt the engine. Would it be good to hurt the engine? No, it wouldn't. You would break the whole car. So we put uh, under three quarts, I mean under two quarts in there. We could put a lot more in there. Let's go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put another, another quart or so. All right. Now we'll chip the dip, dip, dipstick. What's a dipstick? Keep the, this is a dipstick right here. This this goes all the way into the engine, into the oil pan, and it tells us how much oil we have. And that way we know how much oil we have. So it keep. It smells good in here. All right, so got the dipstick right here, and I'm not a wussy man. I'm a very manly man, and so and so I wipe it off on my shirt. We That's also here. another reason that I. Uh, wear a ratty shirt when I do this. Now if you look on that, which it's not gonna focus too well on that, but what you see is some cross hatches and it says, it says safe, do not add overfill. So don't overfill it. It can go up to that line and that's it. It can't go any further than that line. Okay, so mm -hmm. hold, hold I up. hope it is only to that line. Well, I don't think we're gonna make it to that line yet. I don't think we have enough in there, but we're gonna go ahead and check it. So we stick it back in there now that it's clean and pull it out. And you see how much we have? Yep, right here. Nope, that's not a good one. It's right about there. So not quite enough. Let's go ahead and check it one more time though. That's probably enough. We're at one and a half quart. We probably could go down another half a quart. Let's see. We're gonna check it anyway. Let's go ahead and just clean that off. And get it back in there. Pull it out and we are almost at the safe. So another half a quart and we're gonna be good. I didn't get very dirty. I'm not even almost dirty. Well, we gotta get you more dirty then. What? You wanna make me have another bath? All right, we are at, right at one quart. Do you wanna pull it out? Yeah. Pull it out. You gotta pull it hard. And you remember what I showed you to do? Mm-hmm. So, oh, no, and you wiped it off. Wipe it off with your fingers, wipe the whole thing. Good job. Don't be afraid of getting dirty. It's okay to get dirty. dirty. Yeah. See how clear that is? You remember how black the oil was that came out? That's because it was really old. I need to change the oil more often. Pull it up. All right, now, now look at it. We're all the way up. And here, let's turn it the right way. And we are at the safe mark a little bit below. Wipe it off, make sure it's nice and clean. That way we get a good reading. And we will check. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. We are good. All right. And so, now we close that up and we're going to put all this away. Where's the um, lid though? Oh, the lid goes right there. You want to screw it on for me, Whittle? Screw it on until it's nice and tight. Done. Good job. That is perfect. So a lot of my video files were corrupted. I have no idea why. I'm gonna to have to try to figure it out and fix it. But the fact of the matter is, what do we do, Willow? I don't remember. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Yay, we fixed the car! <laughs> okay, uh, we did the oil change and it was a lot of fun. It was a learning experience. What did you learn, Willow? That it can't run without oil. Very true. All right. So and if you don't have oil, it will stop working. Very true. So always put oil in your car before you. Always change your, your, the oil in your car before you go somewhere. Well, something like that. At least every three thousand miles. Don't let it go fifty-seven hundred miles like I did. It's not a good idea. Like and subscribe for more videos. And. And mine. Subscribe to Willow's channel. Willow's channel is going to be right here. It's going to be right. Oh, wow. Let's see. Right here on her face. That's it. Click it. Click it. Click on her face. Click on her face. Click it. You know, you want to. So you can watch Willow does stuff. Taxi.
the absolute last thing I do is to reset I just changed the oil reset the trip meter to zero and that's it